All right, it's time to get started. My name is Ashwin and I am here to talk about the upcoming pay-per-view of WWE that is SummerSlam. SummerSlam is considered to be one of the major pay-per-views of wrestling and there has been a lot of SummerSlams over the years. Uh, I guess it's probably crossed 25 year mark. I'm not sure about the exact number, but anyway, we've got a lot of matches lined up tonight and we will talk about each and every one of the matches. And joining me to talk about the matches are my friends and fellow wrestling critiques, O.C., Sami and Nerut. Now, O.C. and Sami have always uh, have, have already been part of my podcast in the previous episodes, so people might know something about them. But Nerut is debuting in my podcast for the first time. So, Nerut, before we go ahead, please introduce yourself in brief so that the audience can know about you. Yeah, hey guys, my name is Nerud Shah and I'm 19 and a hardcore fan, a fan of Mark Lesnar. I don't get, I don't get uh, how WWE is presenting him that he's a fan with Falta. Okay, Nerud. So what do you do, Nerud? Working, studying? Yeah, I'm studying, I'm a student, I'm, a second, uh, I'm in second year of uh, BSC of Animation and Living. Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, all you guys ready? Sami, you there? Yes, yes. Yes, we're good to go. Okay. So, SummerSlam card is pretty much tagged. Even though we don't have Dean Ambrose returning, it doesn't seem to be. Nonetheless, we have a really strong card for SummerSlam. Uh, so, I'll start off with the tag division, first of all. And uh, as far as the views goes, I'll introduce... I'll talk about the tag titles one by one and uh, you guys will give your opinions based on reverse alphabetical order. So Sami will go first and then Hosi will talk and then Nehru and then I. I will talk in case if you are introducing any title. Okay? Okay. Yeah. okay. So the tag team titles, the raw tag titles is will be defended between B team and the revival. However, it's not so clear because the deleter of worlds interfered in the match and I think it is gonna turn into a triple threat match. So whatever the case is, who do you think is gonna retain or you know, exit SummerSlam as the Raw Tag Team Champions? Sami? Sami, you there? Hello? Yes, yes, Sami. So, we were talking about the Raw Tag Team Championship. Hello? I think, I think, I think Sami, Sami is not there, I think. Okay, never mind. Okay, then we'll go with OC. Yes, your views. Okay, so the match is between Revival and the B-Team. Uh, you know, up to this point, right? Yeah, but... Uh, the deleter yeah. interfered during the match. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. The deleter of words uh, word is in the equation also. So hmm. uh, I don't think that deleter of words uh, get the guy who's tagged because, uh, as we all know, that Mac Hardy might be going through some injury right now. So it's very unfortunate. But you know, I'm I don't think that they're gonna win the titles. But uh, well, I I want to see B team with the titles for some more time. You know, they have just won it last month, so you know I think the the kind of hype they had when when they won the title. So I I guess that they deserve and they should be carrying the title for a little more time. So um, um, my pick is B team. Okay, and remember the B team is also undefeated. Okay, Nairut, now now, yeah. what do you think about the chances of revival and who? Yeah. I also think that uh, the B team would win because they have the momentum right now. And uh, Revival has, has just added to the team. I mean, the creatives might uh, eat up more as there is this triple threat match, tag team match on Monday. So I think uh, uh, the B team will retain, or there might be any uh, interruption from the leaders of the world. Okay. So yeah. That's the B team in between, that's for sure. Okay, so the B team is in the favor of both of you. 
I also think the B team yeah. will retain, but I would also like to give my benefit of doubt with Revival because they have been really starving for a title run and have shown some good impact over the past two months after they clashed against Roman and Lashley. So, yes, I'll also go with B team only. Okay, so the B team is the pick of all the three of us. Next, we'll talk about the SmackDown Tag Team titles. The SmackDown Tag Team titles are being held by the Bludgeon Brothers and they will be facing the New Day. The New Day was looking really amazing with the pancake power on uh, this week's SmackDown against the Bar. They just, that match was why I've, I've re- hardly seen, you know, such, uh, po- such powerful matches at SmackDown Live main yeah. event. We'll see. Exactly. Yeah, like it was it's the kind of action that they use on NXT. You know, they you know, they really tore the house down. Yeah. And, you know, if we're talking about the tag team titles, I think that uh, with Legend Brothers, I think they had their time with the title. I think it's time they should drop them because for me I think they're getting bored mm. with I mean, they are looking not so good like they were doing looking when they were just formed the team, so uh, I think it's time they should drop the title back to New Day because New Day can do a lot more than uh, yeah. the Legend Brothers are doing with the title. So I think they should drop it this time. Okay. Uh, remember, the Legend Brothers have been booked like gods. Okay, Nairut, who's your pick? Okay. I don't agree with Aussie because uh, I think the character with the created for Legend Brothers is uh, kind of undistractable and it would be so easy. Uh, and so early that no they defeat them. Yeah, they uh, they might uh, defeat them by any kind of misinterpretation, but uh, I strongly believe that Blanche uh, and Brothers will uh, retain the title. So you're going with Blanche and Brothers? Yeah. Okay, so we have conflicting views between OC and uh, Nairut. I would like to go with the New Day as well because the New Day look really fresh on that SmackDown and they've already faced Blanche and Brothers. But however, I think this time it's going to be New Day Rock. New Day Rock. <laughs> rock. <laughs> and, it's, and it's good to it's have new views. You know, it's more fun. Yeah, definitely. And with the bar out there, New Day versus bar rivalry we've already seen on Raw. But still, these guys are really fun because Sheamus can be a comic figure yeah. at times. Uh, my personal choice was the bar for the final for the tag team championship. Yeah. But you know, yeah, but the feud would have been fresh if that was the case. The feud would have been fresh, so yeah, that would be yeah. a good thing, you know. Hmm. Yeah. The bar versus the Bludgeon Brothers would also have been a great match because they're all powerhouses. Yeah. But yeah, that's New Day versus the Bludgeon Brothers are what we are getting and. It should be a cracker of a match. Okay, moving on. Uh, since Sami is not present, I'll all, uh, I only will talk about uh, the women's championships as well. So we have Raw women's title match between us. Uh, I'm sorry, Alexa Bliss and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Uh, it should be an easy pick. Who's, who are you going with, Rousey? Yeah, I think I'm going with Ronda Rousey because, you know, the question you should ask, you know, is it for her? Hmm? If she's been for enough time in the WWE, I think it takes other other people, you know, no matter it's the diva or it's the male superstar, it takes more time to get down to the, hmm. uh, the title picture. But then again, she's Ronda Rousey, she came in with a, you know, she didn't have to make her name. When she came in, you know, she was already considered a really good athlete. So, yeah, uh, I think it's, it's time she's leaving with this time. And, and having said that, you know, on the other hand, we're really bored with watching Bliss with the title now. So, I think it's time she should drop it and drop it for some long time. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, Nerud, what do you think? Ronda has been so overhyped. I mean, her match with Alexa, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what was her name? Uh, her debut match on Raw. Uh, 
Alicia, Alicia Fox. Fox, yes, yeah. yes I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, Alicia no, no, Fox no. was so hyped. I mean, come on, that was just a normal match. Nehru? Yeah, yeah, I would agree to that, but it's particular under under Audi. I mean, it's a just hard match. Hmm. It's going to be a hard match. So it's quite uh, early for her. I, and yeah. the God has always been a good cheater. She's a good damn heel. Hmm. All right, so I think Alexa is the same. So, I mean, I, because uh, she yeah. might have any kind of distraction and all, which uh, Ronda is not aware of because she's always been practicing the NBA for so long, and the rules are always perfect. Exactly. You know, man, I'm I'm nervous. I'm agreeing with everything your kid said, but. uh you know i'm asking myself question if i want to see a bliss as a champion for more time and that's a big no from from my side so you know i would rather see okay. ronda rousey with the title that would be some yeah. fresh to see so that's something you know it's just because if i'm bored with uh and it's a bliss that's why i want her to drop the title and i'm agreeing with you just like you said that she has only has had three matches for it's too early for her but you know it's just because of bliss that i chose ronda rousey Uh, what I think, uh, what I think is that that uh, Alexa Bliss will win by cheating. All right, so that will make Ronda more angry, and this uh, uh, rivalry can continue more. But who do you think so will end up here in favor of Alexa? I mean, Mickey James is out. It seems, and uh, Alicia Fox. I don't think her alliance with uh, uh, Alexa Bliss is not so formidable. Yeah, we can say that, but uh, I strongly believe that she will retain. Okay, uh, I think that uh, Ronda Rousey will win because the stage is grand. It's SummerSlam, and uh, sure, they definitely give it give the title to a power player like Ronda on such stages. Okay, so so Nairat, you are up against two Ronda, and you are on Alexa's side. Let's see who wins. <laughs> Okay. Uh so gentlemen uh, who, uh now it's time to talk about the US title. So OC yeah. it's your Yeah, the so US Yeah, the so US title will be defending between uh, the Naka, Shinsuke Nakamura will defend the title against Jeff Hardy. The match that we already had, I mean we didn't really had the match. Mm-hmm. It was kind of a two year sport like a segment just to so that Hardy could drop the title to Nakamura and I strongly believe that Uh, Randy Orton will be added to the mix this week on SmackDown. I strongly believe that because, for me, you know, so so far the matches Shinsuke and Kevin versus Jeff Hardy. Yeah, but it seems quite unfair for Randy. I'm, after all, such power promos, they haven't added him in the match. I mean, Randy has totally covered Jeff Hardy, and Nakamura hasn't even touched him, and they're booking such illogical match. Nairut? Yeah, I, I. I strongly agree with you. But mm-hmm. the thing is that uh, Nakamura will retain, and uh, there is quite a fresh rivalry between Jeff Hardy and uh, Randy Orton. And I don't know how, why did they start this so early and didn't uh, get uh, Randy Orton in the equation. Mm-hmm. That's just bizarre. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was, I was after just, such just, good promos and uh, brawls, it's a total waste for SummerSlam. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk about Randy Orton for a little more here. Like I was, I was saying in the group that you know, it's it's funny that how lame they have been booking Randy Orton for past two years. Yeah. And all it took was a promo for him to come back into his element. Like you know, the guy just held held the mic for like ten minutes and he was back into his element. Yeah, you know? that was such a you know catapulted into the main picture. Exactly, man. It was. You know, just because Randy has faced faced for last few years, it's you know we missed out on so so many of the feuds that he could have had with Dean Ambrose or AJ Styles. You know, the proper feuds I'm talking here because mm. uh, he had matches with all of them, but not a few. Just because you know he was faced, but now it's time I think uh, he he will start a feud with Hardy and you know then take on AJ Styles and you know all the face guys that they are. Yeah. Randy has a uh, huge potential suddenly the pot- uh, the possibility for Randy to shine seems much more evident than before 
and he also wants but first randy wants to delete brother nero and then he wants to go ahead so i think nakamura will be happily moving along with the us title because yeah. the other two aren't very focused on the us title okay randy yes okay okay yeah, we can move on yeah let's move on yeah. okay move on uh, we'll talk about the smackdown women's title which also yeah, which is definitely a triple threat match again in between charlotte flair becky lynch and carmella so see you're backing carmella for the past two pay-per-views no who yeah, yeah. are you on this time well uh, definitely i'm on becky lynch side because you know she she deserves more than what she i think she only have a uh, one title run with the title, one title run since she had in WWE now yeah. so yeah, it was like a month long only so i think that it's time she should she should win the title that okay. you know because she has been on a winning streak for past two past few weeks so i think it's her time and you know the fact that they added uh, a sharp player into this only makes it more exciting you know right uh, she, <laughs> uh it's uh, it's going to be a battle of the horse women charlotte and becky best friends and they're going to be up against each other it also throws a subtle yeah. hint of becky lynch turning heel but i'm not sure it's going to happen however the way they were interacting it only seemed competitive so no signs of heel yeah. turn for anyone however it yeah it, it remains as a potential yeah they Like yeah. Okay, Nerut, who's your pick? Yeah, I'm. I'm with the last speaker. I mean, she's gonna get the title, and it's gonna be so much fun because it's been a long time since we have uh, seen Becky Lynch in the main, uh, main scene of the women's division. Yes. And she has the momentum, and it's perfect timing for taking the title. Okay. So both of you yeah. are on the side of Becky Lynch. I think Carmella is going to retain because she's it's a triple threat match and it's easy to retain with such in such a scenario. So two yeah. on one. So I'm with Carmella and you two are with Becky. Yeah. And Carmella has a good momentum I would say because she defeated Asuka, she's defeated Charlotte and only Becky is left for her to conquer SmackDown. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, next up we'll talk about the Intercontinental Championship. Narut, you you begin the proceedings. Yeah, this is going to be one of the best match of the night. I mean, it's uh, for Intercontinental Championship and uh, the has set freaking Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler with Drew McIntyre. All right. What so, are the stipulations? Uh, what do you think about this? Uh I think we have some special stipulations, don't we? or is it going to be just a plain match oh uh, no no we don't have any no we don't have i think we don't have okay uh i think uh, this time it's going to be Seth Rollins winning though uh, because he's already been he's already been defeated by Ziggler a couple of times and Seth Rollins who's the big star of the present roster losing to dog ziggler again and again and again would not uh, would not be a good sign for him so i think they yeah, let Seth Rollins yeah. win, win the title this time and probably start a rivalry with Drew McIntyre maybe in the future Hello? because McIntyre is yeah. a beast yeah 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 oh see yeah i think that you know i'm backing ziggler to win and the reason for that is uh, You know, I want Seth Rollins to now step up to that because he had a very, very good run with that title. You know, he he delivered delivered great matches when he was fighting for the title, when he was defending it on the Raw every week. But you know, I want him to step up now and you know look forward to that Intercontinental title because you know, Seth Rollins is too good to be you know stuck in the middle card. You know, actually the upper middle card. Mm-hmm. after the middle card but you know i want him to you know but you know, step up and look the look absence of brock lesnar world title uh, but also yeah. the absence of brock lesnar i don't think intercontinental championship qualifies as a mid card championship it's pretty much like the main event it's the key championship of 
Monday night draw. Yeah, and and there's one more thing. Not just that that you know they should have, you know, made us some gimmick match like they should have put on some stipulations for this match because you know it's only last month when we saw these two guys going against each other for 30 minutes. So yeah. it will only make sense to you know to keep people right. uh, interested. They should have they should have made this some gimmick match, but you know it's a one-on-one match with Drew McIntyre on Ziggler's side. So I think Ziggler has pretty strong chances to win. Uh, but then again, I you know. I I love the feud and they they are both of those guys are more than capable of putting up some great matches. I I don't agree with Naruto that it's going to be the match of the night because uh I think that's going to be the WWE title match but uh I think that they will tear the house down nonetheless. Okay. Uh so you're going with Dob Ziggler, Naruto who who's your pick? I'm picking Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, yeah, I'm also I mean, the Rollins. So. Yeah, because yeah, because I think that there is going to be some few uh, distractions from Drew McIntyre. Mm-hmm. But if I if I would be able to control that match, I would add if if I would add Dean Ambrose to the equation to make oh, a surprise. That's right. So not yeah, yeah. If I would. If I was one of the creators, I would I would have do that. And that would help Seth Rollins to win. But at the same time, emotionally, I just took a big loss. I'm going to take that. All oh, right. And uh, adding Dean Ambrose in the mix would be very much rejuvenating because Seth Rollins is caught alone between uh, Dobbs Ziggler yeah. and McIntyre. So it, it, it sounds will... mind-boggling. Yes, it will level the scores. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if that happens, I'm gonna literally blow my head. Hmm. I'm gonna literally <laughs> blow my head off. Yeah, if that happens. All right, uh, that's great, Nairo. Uh, so this yeah. match has the potential to be the main event of the show, even if it is not placed as the main event. This match can act. Uh, th- this is a great att- attraction for the show, and. Uh, All right next up uh, we'll move on to rivalries so we have Kevin Owens facing Braun Strowman for the money in the bank briefcase so if Owens wins by some means whether it could be pinfall submission disqualification or count out Ro- uh, Kevin Owens will get the briefcase so OC what do you think are Kevin Owens chances of winning that briefcase i think kevin owens is leaving barclays it's, it's going to be in barclays right hmm yeah it's it's going to be in barclays center or where where some slam is going to be this year i don't know i think it's somewhere in new york okay so so seth rollins so sorry kevin owens will leave the show as the money in the bank as the money in the bank because i think he has eight enough losses losses to me Braun Strowman up to this point, so I think it will make sense to end the feud with the Kevin Owens, you know, winning the prize. And but I think this match, you know, now talking about the match, I think this match will be a must-see match because, you know, the kind of rivalry these guys will have, you know, if if they are to end this now, they will put on a great match. But in the end, I will uh, I'm backing Kevin Owens to, you know, win the money in the bank this, in this match. Right OC this match has the potential to uh, control the outcomes of the main event as well yeah yeah right uh, i i too am in the side of kevin owens because man there is no point in giving the briefcase to the monster but a guy like kevin owens can use it quite well okay all right what i think what i think about this is that i'm going to pick braun strowman Oh, okay. Right. But uh, there, uh, this match is going to be too much interesting because Kevin and uh, Kevin Owens is going to try everything in his power yeah. to either disqualify or count out Braun Strowman. But uh, I think that Bra- uh, Braun Strowman is part of everything. I mean, it's going to be a typical Braun Strowman match. Hmm. So I'm with the monster among the men. Yeah, even even I think that you know if Kevin Owens wins. is not going to win to pinfall i think it's going to be some 
disqualification or maybe come out or anything but yeah exactly. i think kevin yeah. owens has given if kevin owens is there i don't think that you know he's going to pin from him of course that's obvious i mean you can't win the monster right yeah, yeah. okay uh, so Two on one once again. Kevin Owens big by two yeah. of us, and so the card is very unpredictable. You must say because there not there there is no consensus among the three of us on the matches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up, we'll talk about one more match that is a non-title match that is between Bobby Lashley and Elias. Now Elias has been rocking on Monday Night Raw with his music and with his promos and he's just totally taking over the show with his mini segments everywhere. So what do you guys think? Is Elias going to upset Bobby Lashley or Lashley is going to, you know, teach Elias a lesson for insulting him? Oh see. Uh I think that, you know, I think Bobby Lashley will win in this match but I think uh, uh the audience are going to you know cheer for Elias more because he is the guy who is having all the momentum he has been on the roll since the last few months you know yeah. people are backing him like greatly even though he's a heel but you know people are like mad, mad for him so yeah I think Bobby Lashley is going to win the match but you know then again it will not do you know it will not on the kind of reputation Elias has you know this the guy have the the quality that he can lose but he still you know he will still be on the position that he he has always been he is an entertainer and you know he will the crowd will always be with his side yeah right i'll agree with you wholeheartedly oc uh even i have the same opinion bobby lashley will win it but uh, win the match bobby lashley will win the match but elias will win a heart uh nice yeah exactly and what do you think about it i agree with you that you will win but this might be the most dicey match of the night hmm. yeah who is the most dicey move because of the uh making uh, old uh, old wrestlers brothers and if elias is yeah. going to yeah. Alas has been nothing great up, up until uh, up now, all right. Hmm. He has made uh, no ma- uh, major feud. He has uh, not won any title. He is just uh, running in mid-card. So, it's kind of nice that uh, Bobby Lashley uh, wins, actually. Okay, so finally we three agree on something. And that is Bobby Lashley yeah, winning. Yeah, finally, finally. The time has come, okay. Uh, next we have uh, the WWE Championship, which will be covered by Nerut. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the great matches. It's gonna be AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. And uh, personally, I think that uh, someone is gonna win this one because it's the final time for AJ Styles to drop the title and have a bigger. confused with someone and this match has capability for me to answer yeah that's what I'm talking about okay now I think I think that you know maybe there is a little bit chance that you know retaining the title maybe it will take more than one people at the title so some more people to win some area style to get you know over here going to tear the house down so we've got multiple matches that can be the show stopper of the night uh, so this match will definitely worth watching and uh, yes 
I don't think AJ will survive the Kokena clutch and Samoa will win by submission or AJ blacking out. Yeah, so that's uh, two minutes before that. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you guys are going with yeah. AJ. Is that right? No, no, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I'm going with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I'm with Samoa. I'm, I'm actually with Samoa, but I don't think that it's going to win this time. So, what? technically, I'm with AJ. You're with Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm the only person who thinks AJ is going to actually drop the title. Let's see what happens because Samoa Joe really needs a title run. I mean, he's an NX yeah. champ. He was an NX He's champ. an excellent team. He's an excellent team. There's no doubt for that. Yes. And because of being in Raw, Joe was booked like a jobber, losing every time to Roman fucking Reigns. I'm sorry for dropping that word. I can't tell <laughs> Okay. Yeah, uh, next up, we'll talk about Daniel Bryan versus Miss. Now, this rivalry goes, to be, um, goes a long time Back in the past, it began when Daniel Bryan was the rookie of Miz in NXT. Now, back then, NXT used to be like a reality TV show where there were rookies and pros. And it used to be like a contest between different wrestlers where each week a wrestler used to get eliminated. So, it was a good way to showcase the product and the talent of wrestlers. So. Um, Daniel Bryan was a sort of rebel who would not bow to Miz's policies and they started their uh, friction from there and it went on growing over the years and here they are after Daniel Bryan almost out of action for two years he's back and once again they are against standing against each other so who do you think is gonna stand tall at SummerSlam? Oh, see. Yeah, I think first I'm going to talk about this rivalry. Like, this is one of the greatest rivalry in last few years that we have seen. Like, you know, I think it's going to go in rivalries like Rock and Austin. I think, you know, it is the kind of rivalry that will be remembered by yeah. people for a long, long time because it has everything. It has emotion, drama, of course, it's yeah. everybody. So action has been there. But, you know, the uh, the last few years, that, you know, WWE has played us we did a great job in getting these guys up because, you know, things, the small things like Miz stealing Daniel Bryan's kick, you know, he was having feud with somebody else, but still, you know, he's using his kick. So, you know, that, you know, that kind of, hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a good way to, you know, to keep audience that yeah. this guy is, you know, he's doing it to mock that guy. So, you know, there probably has never you know, ended. It has been kept on going and, you know, now uh, I'll talk about the results of this match. I think I would just try and, but, you know, it will only, you know, it's not gonna, you know, the feud has been going on since, since always, you know, it feels like it has been it's almost going on all again. Yes, 10, yeah. 7, 8 years, I guess. So, uh, so, uh, so I don't think that it's gonna end with one match, so I think if, if they are gonna do the rematches, Hmm. Yeah, I think Miz should win the first one and, uh, you know, whenever they're going to have their rematch or whenever they're going to, you know, end this rivalry, Dan and Brian should have the last laugh. So, I think this one, I think Miz is winning. Oh. Because he has been on the roll. Hmm. Right. So, you're going with the Miz. I will go with Daniel Bryan because uh, Daniel has been kind of decimated by the Miz verbally every time. And Daniel looks like the underdog at the moment. And it would be wonderful to pull it off an upset at the summer, at SummerSlam. And also, will Miz be fighting alone or will he have Maurice at his side? I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I'll go with Daniel Bryan. Nairut? Yeah, I... Yes, Nairut? Daniel Bryan, I'll be last week, but I surely think that Daniel Bryan is going to win this because uh, after this round, he's going to take uh, some time off of the TV mm-hmm. between Mr. and Mrs. Uh, and... Uh, uh, the arrival of uh, his daughter. So I'm pretty sure that he's going to take some time off the uh, TV. 
you know, what is the actual kind of play that he was at when the last time he walked out? Like, he had already faced all the greats that they were to face back in 2004, like Gold, Eddie Guerrero, Brock, Triple H, Hulk Hogan. So, yeah. I think if you look at it now, even now, Brock Lesnar had have faced, you know, mm-hmm. each and every one, like Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, of the Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, Joe, even AJ Styles. So, I think it, it only makes sense for uh, Brock Lesnar if he wants to go back into the UFC. It, it only makes sense because he has done, yeah. you know, pretty much everything except a match against Bobby Lashley. So, I think, you know, the fact. You know, if I sum up all of that in one line, I think Brock Lesnar is losing the title and, you know, and walking out of WWE. And I think Roman Reigns is the guy who's winning it. Okay, um, so all of us agree that Roman will win, but I'm not sure whether the cash-in will happen. And uh, I also heard that it's been advertised for Hell in a Cell that uh, Roman Reigns will fight Kevin Owens. So I'm assuming that Kevin Owens might just cash in on Roman Reigns. I'm not sure, but... That remains a possibility. Actually, I even even I've read that, I, that article, and you know that article also said that you know every time there is a there is a you know they're looking in arena, so the arena always always you know keep on advertising the matches, but you know most of the time the matches they advertise they, wow. they you know most of the time they they change at the last time, so okay. you know. You know, I'm not totally agreeing with those matches, but, you know, all matches are great. You know, if that happens, I'll be a happy man. Okay. 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 Uh, Guys, uh, I thought we covered all matches, but we've missed one of them, and that is Finn Balor versus Constable Corbin. So, guys, make your quick picks. Who do you think is going to win? Or will we get to see the Demon King Balor, or is it going to be the same old cool Balor? I think it's going to be a cool uh, bell because every time the uh, every time the demon bell comes out, you know they announce a week prior. You know they announce on Raw. Maybe this this week they'll announce that that it's going to be, you know, okay. demon king. So, so you know we're not they, they don't allow it. So next this this saw that they're going to have two days later, three days later. Uh, I don't think that is going is going to come out. Out of nowhere, as Demon King, you know, if they if they announce him wrong, okay, it's gonna be, you know, you get my point, sir. Right? Hmm. So who, okay. who's gonna? What be? I think is that uh, uh, Finn Balor is going to win this one. He obviously is gonna win this one. He's the greatest underdog at the moment in Raw. Okay. Yeah. All right, and he has been uh, constantly been bullied by uh, Constable Court and. Then, it's been a long time uh, since this it has been happening. So Finn might overcome uh, this. And Finn's always been my guy. So he's always been my pick. Okay. Yeah, even my my pick is Balor. But, you know, if, uh, if we're talking about this field, I think this field is, you know, the most, uh, you know, this is the field that I'm least excited for because this, this field is just another big guy versus small guy kind of field, you know, in WWE that we had seen with uh, Big Cass and Daniel Bryan. So, you know, I'm not too excited for the match, but my pick is Bellow. Okay. My pick is going to be Constable Garvin because I just love the guy. He's totally got him, gotten himself back up after he got promoted as a constable and he's doing a great job. So, I will go with Constable Garvin. So, I'm up against you guys. Let's see who wins. <laughs> I strongly agree. That is the best thing. Gimmick sense for uh, from any superstar. Yeah. Current roster. Yeah. Constable Corbin is the best gimmick. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like Shane, like corporate team. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a better version of that. Yeah. Shane wasn't that much dominant in all that shit. Yes. Yeah. Corporate Kane was a crappy wrestler compared to the old Demon Kane, but Baron Corbin, he's looking great. Yeah. he plays character like he owns it. I mean, we are, we are always used to be like that. Yes. And uh, if you yeah. if uh, if anybody hasn't checked out Baron Corbin's theme song, do check it out. It's awesome. Yeah, I have yeah. it. I have it. It was my ringtone for a couple of oh. for some time. <laughs> that was badass, right? Okay, OC and Nerit. It's been a pleasure having you guys, and thank you for giving your time. Thank you, OC. Thank you, Nerud. Exactly. Exactly. And, thank and you, Nerud. If, if it's signing off, if it's signing off, I'm gonna say, man, Nerud, 
you know i had great fun with you guys i think you know this is the this is the most favorite podcast that i've done with oh us and because we were laughing all the time we were you know we were in, yes you know i wasn't taking you know normally it happens that i take too much pressure on myself you know if i'm not so good at english you know so you oh, know there is always that thing with me but, but you know today to this podcast have to be my favorite so thank you guys yeah. for having me yeah thank you see nairu do you have do you have anything to say after your first podcast yeah it was my first podcast and i really enjoyed it yeah it was fun knowing about what you think about the match cards and all that thing yes so it's been a quite pleasure and, and thanks for having having me here on your channel the pleasure is all mine guys thank you for joining and bye until hell in a cell meet you there okay bye bye